Hello and welcome to another episode of Hooks, Nits, and Dice. I'm Leela Kroka. Sorry that I haven't been on for the past couple of weeks. My daughter is here. Say hi, Marina. Hi. <laughs> She's laying down. She's not feeling well. But uh, she will be in an another episode later on. Um, speaking of her, I am making reflective wrist warmers. Uh, the yarn is special. Let's see if the camera can. There we go. See the little filaments in there? When the light bounces off of them at night, uh, it's highly visible, and they're not bad. I didn't. I thought they'd be really scratchy. They're they're not the most comfortable, super soft ever, but they are comfortable enough to wear. So I'm making her. Oh, that was Rena. Sorry about that. Uh, uh, now I lost track of what I was saying. They're comfy enough to wear, and I'm making her a pair. I've also uh, taken orders on them in case people want them. Uh, they come in small to medium or large to extra large. So if you want a pair, they are $10 a pair plus shipping. And I don't remember exactly how much it is in kroners, but it's to ship in Norway. It's 70 kroners. And then... Anyway, you guys can hit me up if you want to order them, and I'll let you know what shipping is and everything. Um, Marina has joined us for D&D. She decided she really likes it, and she wants to join us for Pathfinder, so that's a lot of fun. She used to play a uh, character... Wow, were you 14? Yeah, she was about 14 the last time she played D&D, &D, and she didn't really get into it because it was D&D &D Online. We were using uh, Roll20 and... Uh, Skype, it's not as engaging as playing in person. So when she got a taste of that, she was like, oh yeah, let's play some more. And uh, she's going to be joining us Thursday, I think, is the game day. Isn't that? Monday and Thursday. Yeah, well, Monday is every day, or every week, but uh, Thursday, this Thursday, is the Pathfinder game. So that'll be a lot of fun. She did a great job in the D&D &D session on last Monday. So hopefully she will enjoy playing Pathfinder as well. Tommy's mom got me this awesome book. It says Crocheting for Little People. And it's a book of patterns that have uh, stuffed animals, plushies, and rattles, and mobiles, mobiles, however you pronounce that. The little things that hang from the ceiling and dangle around for a baby to look at and go, ooh, caca, ooh, ooh. Yeah, <laughs> they're awesome patterns. I'm going to be using them to make things for the uh, Christmas market this coming year. I'm starting now so that I'm prepared. We're only going to make baby things this year. And I think we're going to be a big hit because people just don't find these things to buy in stores. Especially the rattles. Excuse me. So, let's see. Oh, we played Magic yesterday at uh, Siv and Simone's, and Marina joined us for that as well. Simone, not Simone, listen to me. Siv kind of ground us to a halt with stasis, and so we were just kind of like, yeah, your turn. Yep, your turn. <laughs> but it was still fun. We had a good time. Uh, Tommy, I think he played Cube with everyone else and I can't tell you exactly what cube is other than it's a really uh, odd and expensive draft that you can play that you don't get to keep the cards unless you pay for them and I don't even think then because there are some really old some really valuable cards in there and you just draft a deck and play with your friends so that's a lot of fun <sighs> let's see what else oh uh, thoughts prayers good vibes positive energy for my brother Marcus. He thought he had a spider bite. It turned out to be blood clots and now he's in the hospital. So please keep him uh, in your thoughts and prayers and good vibes and send him all the energy and love that you can. Uh, let's see. I can't think if there's anything else. Um, Rena's really hooked on Ticket to Ride. <laughs> she really likes that. And we have several versions of the game so that's fun. Uh, she also played Sequence Dogs. We've talked about Sequence on the show before. And, of course, the standby card games, Uno and Phase 10, that sort of thing. Lots of fun. 
So she's going to stay here for a while, and then we're going to work our way into getting her to stay here permanently. Well, not permanently, but she'll be a resident, uh, possibly a citizen later on. She wants to <clears throat> work in music with children, and so she's actually looking at being a temp where Tommy works. He works in a daycare, as some of you know. So that would be awesome. Keep your thumbs up for that. Anyway, that's all I've got for today, so thanks for watching, and have a great day.